Blast Into The Tank is a product to take your victories to the next level. Hello, Sharks. My name is Matt Walsh, and I am addicted to winning. And I'm Dax Holt, and I fully support his addiction. And we are here seeking $600,000 for 8% of our company, Trophy Smack. Over 50 million Americans pour their hearts and souls into fantasy sports every year for a chance at victory. Friends battle it out for months on end, smack talking one another, investing ridiculous amounts of time and energy for the winner to walk away with what? Empty bragging rights? A generic Little League trophy? I don't know about you, Sharks, but when I win, I want everyone to know. And that is why we created Trophy Smack, the best place to get the most unique and customizable fantasy sports trophies, blinged out rings, and over the top championship belts. I mean, imagine walking into your next draft party with this bad boy in your shoulder. Woo! <laughs> so it's super simple. You go to our website, you choose your sport, then your size, and your color. There are literally thousands of trophy combinations to choose from to create your very own dream trophy. So we understand how important winning is here inside the tank. So we went ahead and we custom designed trophies for each one of you sharks. Wow. So go ahead and unveil the greatness next to you. Wow. I like mine a golden wow. slipper. A bull and bear, stock market baby, Wall Street. I actually like the one I already have that's in my <laughs> office. <laughs> How did you guys come up with this? So it happened in the most organic way. Credit card out, looking for something awesome. I'm in the finals, I'm the new guy in the league with all the dad friends, and it didn't exist. So just joking with the guys, I said, hey guys, uh, I wanted to just get a six foot trophy and I wanted to ride it in like a pony and just show you guys how much I obliterated you all. But since it doesn't exist, I have to start my own now. But I, I don't get why that doesn't exist. I have ordered trophies for my business my whole life, every type of trophy. Why couldn't you use a regular trophy house? What's the difference here? So the trophies that exist today, just sort of that same antique looking. Yeah, with the guy with the, you know, standing yeah, up yeah, the exactly. the guy yeah. in the Yeah, Everyone chair. was kind yeah. of selling the same thing. So when we came onto the scene, we were the first company where we had the ability for someone to change the colors on the fly, change that the style on the fly. Cool, Did say. you design it? We designed everything. So, what are your backgrounds? A professor of mine gave me invaluable advice. He said, Matt, if you want to be a really successful entrepreneur, you need to get into supply chain and logistics to really figure out how businesses operate and how they function and execute. So first job out of college, I took a job at a freight brokerage. I rose at the top of the company in two years. Wow, I was Pretty the impressive. number one salesperson in the company. It brings up a good lesson for people. Whatever you're doing, be the best at be the it. Best because at it. once you're the best at something, every door opens up, and then you learn where you can be a great entrepreneur. So good for you for focusing on being great at what you did. Absolutely. My background is completely the opposite. I come from TV and film, doing entertainment news, TMZ. How much did you invest in this business to get it going? We, we invested uh, $250,000. Wow. wow, that's a lot and of money. Why, why do you have that's to invest that much around. to get this going? Yeah. What, what is it you spent your money on? So in the beginning, we started small. Initially, it was a $60,000 injection. Um, and in the first three weeks of getting into the fantasy football draft season, sold out of everything. What's the average cost? The average price is about $150, $160. What does it cost you to make it? Our average profit margin is 80%. 80%? Wow. Yeah. Can you walk through the revenue growth first year, what you sold, what you yes. made? So uh, year one, January 2018, we, uh, we did $850,000 revenue. Amazing, your first year. And wow. Then year what did you two, make? What did you make on the eight fifty? We The first year, we had about a 200000 net that we just rolled right into inventory. Okay, for, and for then year next year, nineteen. Year 2, uh, 2019, we did $1.9 million. Wow. Okay, and you made what on that? We had $775,000 uh, gross profit, and we netted around five hundred. dollars And this year, what are you going to do? Year to date. So in spite of the pandemic, our uh, revenues year to date are up over last year. We've done $650,000 in revenue so far. The opportunity for us is a lot broader than fantasy. So corporate awards, employee recognition, youth but there sports. has to be a ton of competition in that space, a ton. There's a reason why no one in the trophy and award space has really taken a national approach on e-commerce. The traditional way of building trophies 
is, is crazy. The assembly process in our first year, was a nightmare. assembly was more expensive than cost of goods. The way that we developed our columns, the assembly time was cut down by 90%. Now I get it, you're a logistics guy. Yeah. Everybody else in this space can't do what you do because anybody else would take years to get up to speed to where you are. Correct. Yeah. Okay, guys, so I, I really respect people who play sports. People who are sports fans, I kind of respect them. Fantasy guys? <laughs> <laughs> so let me tell you a story. I was trying to date this really hot woman and I realized she never had a date on Sunday because these morons were so busy watching sports. <laughs> so, no matter where I was at in the world, I would make sure that I got to New York on Sunday to take out this smoking hot woman. <laughs> and I remember her telling me, you know, I really don't like guys who like sports because, you know, I, I, I'm alone on Sundays. And I said, I will never watch a sports game my entire life <laughs> if you marry me. And I marry now. Yeah, so, that's awesome. I'm out. <laughs> Thank right, you, guys. Good luck. I'm going to make you an offer. I'll give you $600,000 for 25% of the business. And my value is to try and work it into the corporate market, which isn't that easy. But wait a minute, wait a minute. What do you want the money for, and what is it that you need? We're looking for a strategic partner, right? We don't want to just continue doubling every year. We want a 10x. Matt, what would the strategic partner bring you? So whether it's opening up the doors at arenas um, for uh, products within the stadiums, right? Commemorative rings. Are you here just for Cuban? I think so. No, we are not. What do you want to do, Mark? What is Mark doing? So guys, I mean, I like what you're doing. I like the fact that you're hustlers, right? And you're looking to touch all the pieces and you're just following the money. The question is 8% isn't enough. I'll make you an offer. I'll offer you the $600,000, but I want 17%. Appreciate the offer. Thank you very and it's, much. And it's either a yes or no, because no, I'm not going to No, I'm going to make you an offer. There you go. Then I'm out. Oh! That was, that was a fast yes or no. Shot clock. Shot clock. Shot clock. Whoa, they didn't hear my offer. Answer her. That's not fair. Unless you want to say yes. So I'll tell you my offer. It's your decision, right? I'll tell you my offer. Let's take a deal. Done. Let's go. Deal.